Guys, it's your girl Coco Kenzie back at it with another video. So, guys, before we get started, y'all make sure y'all click that button and you are subscribed to the family. Now, I thought that I've done my last video of this saga, but uh, Timmy yesterday uh, he it was a podcast release. Um, excuse my friend, where he went on and he discussed his experience with Love Island, and of course he discussed the breakup with Zeta. Now, I thought that it, he said that he wouldn't discuss it anymore. No, nope, you know, it is his life. It is his story. He can tell the story as much as he wants to. Um, but if he continues to tell it, I wish that he would give more clarity. Um, it doesn't seem like any more clarity is being given. And I feel like, and again, since we, you know, Zemi is the big business. In the business of Zemi, if I were uh, his advisor, um, I would tell him to shut up and just say, well, I've already discussed it. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Because what ha what is happening and this is for people, whether you uh, like Zeta, don't like Zeta, what seems to be happen happening every time he speaks, or his sister, for that matter, they speak life and validity, validity into uh, much of what Zeta said. Um, because it's just talking in circles. And then I just wish, again, I don't know, I wish they would vet the people. Now, again, however you feel about uh, Murad as a person, of course, you know, that's a controversial topic. We're not going to do that today. But um, I felt like he handled, um, I, th I felt like he did a really good job of handling it as her story and really just allowing her to speak and tell it. And, you know, he might interject here and there, but not, um, I just, I thought he handled it much better from that perspective. Whereas these girls were, or these young ladies were very giggly and um, same thing with the uh, interview that uh, um, Timmy's sister did. Um, just very immature kind of, and or just because it's a time, like again, it's nothing wrong as we're discussing stuff and having fun. But when we get to something, sensitive topics, um, and I don't know if it's just, I don't know, I like interviews, journalism, but it's just a certain professionalism and a respect that you give to it. And the, it's the calling, Z, Zeta has a very simple name. It's not hard to say. Uh, her being called Zeta by the girl, the the young lady um, interviewing his sister. These young women, like, I just, I'm not for it. And y'all know I just did a video about community and black women and uplifting. I, I, I'm really sensitive about it. And I'm not for the games because we don't have a whole lot of spaces and people, especially in the reality TV realm, where we are seen as humans and respected beyond just, you know, women ready to brawl and put a bottle or give a good read about somebody. So, um, you know, I definitely think it's a responsibility in that. What I wish so much Timmy would have done and initially, and I said this before, is that he would have given the interview the day he um, kind of everything kind of came out and he did that live. That Timmy that day, I believe, would have given his best interview. But of course, um, sometimes we get advised and you can tell that, uh, well, I don't know if, I, I don't want to say co coached, but it seems like he might have been, maybe he could have coached himself in that, but it comes across insincere. And what makes it difficult, whether you believe Zeta or not, is that her, in her interview, it came across very raw, transparent, and sincere. And again, whether he, um, you know, wanted to, you know, he didn't agree with what she said, which obviously he said, then, you know, you come back and you talk about it and you go with everything. If you're going to keep talking about it, then typically I would think, and this is something that neither him or his sister did, is that you go and break it down. This did not happen. This happened this way from my perspective. And I think as interviewers, what I would have liked to see them do, again, is handle it with care. And as interviewers, you don't sit and I like I just said I would have liked to see him more pushback and if they didn't give pushback you don't know like Murad didn't know Zeta's story he knew it as she told it but he was not a party he wasn't privy to all the information because he was not there same thing with these young women so to state something as fact you know I, I I did not like that I just it just left a bad taste in my mouth so God like if you can get through the interview the it's, it just skip right to the portion then, um, you know, that is what I would recommend, but God bless if you can. 
Um, but I really just think that if Timmy just went ahead and said that you were hurt, man, we can see it. Like you could tell because his whole demeanor, anybody who's really been through breakups and you, you know, if you have a brother, you have a son, you've got friends, you've been through it yourself. His demeanor changed when it got to the topic of Zeta, but not just like a, a change because of the topic. Like you can tell he's hurt. Now, part of the reason, and y'all know, I will always talk about things from my perspective because, you know, none of us. We're there to know all the ins and outs. We don't know things, you know, all, all you know, we don't know everything that transpired. But in this very moment, what I will say as a fact, as I know factual, is that Zeta Morrison did not give that interview to Murad in December. And I say that, and I know I'm putting a lot of emphasis on that. Well, why, Coco Girl, why are you putting so much emphasis on that? I'm putting emphasis on it because I think that changes the whole trajectory of what this story and where it could go. Now, will they, you know, will they have been together, whatever, you know, that's, that's up in the air. But I think Timmy's perspective, even taking his sister out of the equation, when you feel like somebody deceived you in that way, it, it could make you hurt because you feel like somebody sat on something. And so, you know, then my goal is because you, you know, I think that you got me, then I'm going to get you back and I'm going to keep pushing this narrative of business, 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 which we all know. Again, first of all, I've said it before. Anytime you're a public figure and you are a couple, especially coming off a couple based show where the the, the couple is intertwined with business. It is going to be business. So that is not absurd. So I wish, I think it's just, uh, again, that we, I, I use his own words, a lazy assessment. It is a lazy excuse because it is a business in a sense. But to keep acting as though it was only a business when your own words are, well, I really care for her. Well, she was falling for me and I really cared for her. It's semantics, okay? You care, she, you know, she was falling for you, you care for her. You're consistently saying that, you care for one another, you enjoyed one another, and that is okay. Like, I wish he didn't feel for whatever reason. Like, I don't know if it makes him feel weak that he fell, or, you know, sometimes, like, maybe he didn't think that it was a part of the plan, so he can't um, say it fully, but you fell for her. That's okay. It is genuinely okay. And the fact that he will not clearly clearly give timelines so give us a time frame you keep saying like kind of close to when it ended but then we hear about four hour emotional emotional conversations or i really really was hurt like you were hurt about your business partner like it just it doesn't make sense to me and it's okay if you fell for this woman it's okay if she fell for you and it doesn't mean because no relationship is perfect sometimes especially given that you all were in the public eye there's times where things, you guys are dealing with things that the average person does not have to deal with constantly stuff being put in your ear and i do, i mean and from both sides um i think it would be okay especially given the past history of what we've seen on some of these shows to question or be um, you know, to proceed with caution because you don't nobody know everyone's intentions, but to keep um, belittling Zeta and minimizing the connection and what you all shared um, down to just a business is, it's, it's just, it's becoming, I, I just find it a little bit disgusting and disappointing. And if not, then I wish he would make it crystal clear. He never gives a clear timeline of when we, you know, because he just keeps inferring that she knew, but he doesn't say how she knew, why she knew. We had this discussion. I said this, she said that. Uh, and regardless, again, like whether you believe Zeta's story or not, like if we were in a court of law and, you know, and Zeta said this and she said why. So she said this. She backed up why she felt this way. I'm saying this because this happened. I'm saying this because this happened. So I, what I would have liked to see for Timmy, because I do think that Timmy at times when he wants to be um, can be very clear and precise and a very, very, very effective communicator. So to see him talking in circles, which we've seen, because again, like when he first came on the show, if you go back and look at some of my videos, I was not a fan. Timmy irked my soul. But, you know, I don't know if that's just a nervous thing, or, you know, whatever. But he, when he wants to, he can be an effective communicator. And it seems to me, again, just looking from the outside in, that Timmy puts up a wall 
that, um, and I don't know because I can't speak for somebody's past, but that, you know, sometimes we have things that have happened in life that make us not trusting, that make us not allow people into our space. What I can say about this cast, because this also speaks volumes, we've seen how many people in the cast have come out and really supported Zeta. Um, we've seen him unfollow people when he's even gone as far as to say that he really doesn't have relationships with anybody, essentially, but Jesse. Um, and, you know, and I just, because given on the show, like, while he was not buddy buddy with everybody certainly like Isaiah I, you know there are people I thought he had a much better uh, relationship than what we've kind of come to see post villa um and I just think that speaks volumes but it doesn't mean that the whatever we saw wasn't real no but I do think that it's something in Timmy and I can't say again as, as a factual I'm just looking from the outside in but it's something that makes him put up these walls. This group, Love Island, a USA season four, is one of the closer groups as a whole. I feel like, you know, as you see them go out, everybody doesn't go out all the time because, you know, you're in different age groups, some are in different cities. But as a whole, I really do think they were not um, as messy as some seasons prior. And they just really, as a whole, just had a bond. And so to see him win it, and um, to see his girl be, or his ex-girl, his business partner, whatever you want to call it, to really be involved in that, and he's not. Um, you know, again, I just speak, I think that speaks to the situation. And again, again, feeds more to a lot of the narrative of what um, Zeta was saying. Now, again, whether this is intentional, and this is not to bring him down, because a lot of times, sometimes we go in with certain mindsets and those those mindsets keep us from really truly opening ourselves up and then we act out in a certain way. And I think it could go um, for both sides. I do think um, some of what Zeta said, because um, it shows again, like in what we see in his interaction with other Islanders, is that perhaps he did go in. And this I'm also basing this off of what his sister um, said is that he did go in with the um, intent kind of, you know, like, first of all, it is a game show. I'm not mad at nobody for going in on a game show with the intent to win. So very focused on that. But then kind of like looking down on like, why, you know, not, not like, why would I want to interact with a whole bunch of people from this kind of show? Like with this kind of mindset, I'm going to go in and make my money kind of, that's, you know, that's kind of what Zeta inferred kind of as though, like, you know, he was, he just thought kind of like he's, uh, but better, and I say better in the sense of just that, you know, this is a silly game show. It's not about making a whole bunch of silly little friends. Like, it's not that deep. I'm going, that's how I took it, you know. Um, so I could see that. But once said relationships were made, I think he stuck with whatever he had in his head. And instead of allowing those natural relationships to grow, he put up a wall that was standing kind of on what he came in with instead of, allowing himself to walk out with so much more. And also sometimes when you have these mindsets, but then you go and you see other people getting certain deals or doing certain things or being received in ways that maybe you didn't think that they would be um, received, then it hits a little different. And then it can make you insecure. It can make you, um, you know, it can make you feel uncomfortable. So I, I, again, I think that a lot of what Zita said was true. She was speaking from her perspective. And when you listen to so much of Timmy, he sounds like someone who is hurt. And that's why he keeps pushing the narrative of business, 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 because then it um, alleviates him from the situation and accountability um, from kind of just being in it, which really the public doesn't, I mean, and when I say he doesn't care, because obviously we're talking about it, but we would not fault you for being into Zeta or in love with Zeta, whatever. Um, so I, I, you know, y'all, y'all let me know what y'all think. Cause if he not, if I'm tired of hearing about it, if he's not going to say anything different, if you can't give me a timeline and I really feel that he doesn't want to be crystal clear in his timeline, his sister doesn't want to be crystal clear in their timeline, because I really believe that there are receipts out there and they don't want the receipts to come out <laughs> to prove what they're saying is incorrect. So I'm going to talk in circles and it's like, I'm going to kind of say this, but I'm not really going to say this. So it's a very, very gray area. I'm going to feed the narrative, but I'm not going to really say it. Um, it's receipts, y'all. Okay. It's receipts out there. Trust and believe if it doesn't stop, then, well, I would hope, I would hope that, because I guess it would really have to come from Zeta. I would hope that Zeta would not do that. 
um, because she's better than that. I mean, and um, like, again, the more she sits back and just kind of let them hang themselves with their own rope, um, it is happening. It is that's that's what I see. I, I don't see any more clarity in the situation than I saw before. So unless Timmy, baby, this is me, Coco, talking from me to you. If you're not going to clear up London and that, if you're not going to clear up this timeline of just saying, hey, in October, in November, we saw, you know, this, this. When we had this emotional conversation. So, you know, we talked about this. We talked about, you know what, all contracts are no longer. We're not going to think about contracts anymore. We're not going to like... Y'all didn't even have enough business to talk for four hours, okay? So let's not play games. You didn't have enough business to talk for four hours, baby. Like, we're not stupid, okay? There was not enough business. There was not enough content. Because, you know, now, again, I like them individually. You know, I, I like them enough individually. And I like them as a couple. I was rooting for them. I will not try to backtrack and say I wasn't. Um, but, you know, there were a lot of fans looking for content. They wanted content. And so when we keep talking about this business, if it was business, then it was a piss poor business, okay? Because I can't even feed into the fact and say Zeta had some business because she had her blog well before Love Island. Um, I mean, to the point, I, you know, because I do do the Zeta Confidential Mondays where some people would complain that she wasn't even talking about Zimmy enough because some people wanted every single conversation every week to be Zimmy, Zimmy, Zimmy. And, you know, and she did the best she could and tried to balance it out. And, you know, it's opinions on that, which, again, I fed my opinion into that. But I think that nobody shows every single negative thing about their relationship. I think that's quite real. Like, uh, my husband and I have issues sometimes. Just, you, But you're not going to get that. Or you're not going to get that until we really are in a clear space. But just because we have um, negative things go that happen, it doesn't mean that the bond or connection that we have is any less. And I think that's what she shared. And that's what she chose to show because that's what we do as humans. We try to walk through in positivity. And, you know, you still have your gut there that can tell you, but still, even that can go in a lot of different ways because that, when a connection is strong, and I, I don't care what, I do believe that there was a connection. But anytime, just because there's a connection, it, it takes all parties involved to want to learn and grow together. I say it every week on this channel, even as we communicate, Anytime there's communication happening between people or relationship building is happening, whether it be platonic or not, whatever, um, it has to be honesty, effective communication, and everybody has to want to be involved in, in whatever we're trying to make this relationship grow into. So you guys let me know what you think in the comments. We'll see. I'm hoping that this is the end of that. Um, I do want to see everybody involved win. I want to say, Timmy seems hurt. Like, I, I'm a mom to boys. I've been through a love life. He's hurt. It's okay to be hurt, baby. So I do hope that he feels better. He can walk in his truth and one day feel comfortable enough to tell his story. Because we do need more spaces where men feel as though they can be still a man and tell their story and share their hurt. I wish Zita nothing but the best. I hope she continues to walk in her truth and beautiful, you know, beautifully. And that we can... You know, uplift all these people and pray, Timmy's sister. We pray for whoever needs to be prayed for, need to have hands laid on them, okay? Y'all, make sure you're subscribed. I'm going to be back with another video real soon. Maybe something a little different, okay? But we're going to talk about it. Don't mind my hospital wrist, man. We're going to talk about that because that was the experience in itself. Don't judge me. Judge your mammy. I'm going to talk to you later.